Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this reading, I'm using the 78 Tarot Nautical, Tarot of the Water. Okay, so I love this deck because each card is done by a different artist. So there's 78 different artists in this deck. And um, if you're interested in this deck, I'm going to post a link to where you can find out more about it just in the um, in the information sex section below this video. Okay. Okay, so I've got three cards here. Each card is going to represent a different segment of the upcoming week. And we're going to start with Monday and Tuesday's card, which is Queen of Wands. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful card. And I love the black cat in this card. <laughs> I just think that's awesome. Okay, so we, we're starting up the week with the Queen of Wands. And she has such a fiery energy. I feel like you're going to be stepping into the week with a lot of, um, basically with a lot on your side. So you're going to have an easier time accessing the part of yourself that's like the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is... Um, I like to think of her as almost like career focused. She's somewhat driven, but not in an exhausting kind of way. She's driven by creativity and enthusiasm and energy and excitement. So you know when you're like really excited about a project or you're working on something that is really, really important to you and you have so much energy and drive and focus, that is kind of like the Queen of Wands. That's what she's like all the time. So. I think the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, is about kind of tapping into that part of yourself. And um, if you're working on any projects or, or if you're just feeling kind of blah in your life right now and like unmotivated, unfocused, see if you can um, find out, you know, what it is that is important to you. What do you feel revved up about? You know, what... What are you passionate about? And if you can somehow connect what you're doing in your life to what you're passionate about, it's easier to develop that kind of get up and go feeling and that, you know, kind of focus and energy. Um, so yeah, if you're working on a project at work that's like, oh, whatever, it's not going very well, see if you can somehow connect it to what is really important to you or what you're passionate about. Um, Okay, so beginning of the week, it, you know, it's going to be easier for you to tap into those Queen of Wands gifts. So the Queen of Wands, again, is a very confident, she's creative. Um, so this is the part of you that comes up with creative solutions and is really confident in sharing your ideas, you know, um, talking to people, asking for what you want, um, all those things. So this is a real card of like confidence and, and beauty. I think there's a woodpecker outside my house. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, we've got the Five of Swords. Now, it's so interesting because this is such a different looking card <laughs> to the Queen of Wands. Such like totally different art, art style. Okay, so the Five of Swords. Um, the Five of Swords is a really tough card for me. I really struggle with this card. Um, it comes up when things aren't really fair. So it comes up when, um, you know, someone isn't being entirely honest or not honest, but someone's not playing by the rules. Someone might be cheating or being kind of sneaky about something. Um, and I feel like this relates actually more on an inner kind of level. I don't think this is necessarily about someone that we know that's acting like this, although it could. I feel like this is about kind of what's going on within us. So is there any way in which you are almost like cheating yourself? Is there any way that you're cheating yourself or maybe not being entirely honest with yourself? Or, um, yeah, and I'll just kind of leave it at that. It makes me think of, um, I don't know if anyone watching this has ever done Jillian Michaels DVDs, but I just, I have one where she's like, 
it's like halfway through the workout and like it's a really hard part and she's like don't cheat yourself don't cheat yourself <laughs> and I don't know why that just popped into my head when I was looking at this card <laughs> but I feel like this is about you know not cheating yourself whatever whatever it is that you're doing whatever you're working on um, yeah not cheating yourself okay so I'm gonna move on to the weekend card Friday Saturday and Sunday nice okay so we've got nine of cups for the weekend and nine of cups um nine of cups is basically a card of abundance it represents that moment in your life when you feel like you have everything that you want or that you're getting everything that you want everything is coming to you easily and you're enjoying it it's that feeling of fulfillment and abundance. And when you look at this card, you see this woman, it looks like she's underwater and there's all these jellyfish like all around her. Personally, I would be concerned that those jellyfish would sting me. <laughs> they look like stinging jellyfish, but whatever. She doesn't seem too worried about it. Um, but there's jellyfish like all around her and it just, I think this is such a beautiful card. But what I think it means for you is that at the end of the week, on the weekend, you're going to get, there's more of a sense of kind of satisfaction and it will feel like there's a lot of choice, a lot of opportunity, a lot of things coming to you. Now, that's the positive side of this card. The, the downside of the card is that um, you might feel like you have everything you want, everything's working out, and yet... You still don't feel entirely satisfied like you feel like you should feel satisfied and you do but there's still like that part of you that's like huh this isn't this isn't quite doing it for me this isn't like the answer to what I thought it would be you know um, so that's kind of the downside of this card but um, as I step back from these cards the one thing that's really jumping out for me is that each card has such a different energy to the, to it which is to be expected in a deck that has you know each card is done by a different artist but I feel like I've you know read with this deck before and I don't always notice that so I feel like there's a really big difference between the beginning of the week the middle of the week and the end of the week so you know if the beginning of the week is like challenging for you or the middle of the week is challenging like don't really worry about it because it seems like the energy shifts quite a bit throughout the week it's not going to be one of those weeks where it's like the same thing throughout the whole week it, it does feel like there's like a lot of variety this week <laughs> a lot of shifting a lot of differences here um i'm just gonna try to look and see if i notice anything else jumping out at me um I, you know, I really encourage you to have a look at these three cards as well and notice like what card you're drawn to the most, like which card really jumps out at you. And then when you've chosen that card, see if you notice, um, see if you notice why that card jumped out at you. Is there something on that card, like particular color, particular thing, like a symbol, person, what is it about that card that draws you in? And does the meaning of that card, is it relevant to your life right now? Or is it totally not relevant? And how do you feel when you look at that card? Um, so for me, like my attention is drawn to this card, which sucks because I, I always struggle with the Five of Swords, but it's just very bold. It's bold, it's obvious, and to me, the message here is that there's something really obvious in my life that I'm not seeing, and it has to do with me cheating myself in some way. So there's something that I'm something that I'm not doing, that I want to be doing, that I should be doing, that I'm not doing. And I think I know what that is. <laughs> so, you know, have fun with it. You know, see if you can kind of explore these cards a little bit. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope you found something in this reading that was helpful to you. And um, you can find out more about learning tarot and tarot cards on my website, dailytarotworld.com. Have a beautiful week.